What's up guys, Mike here, the Detroit Borg, with a look at the Belkin Ultimate Keyboard Case for the iPad 2nd, 3rd, and 4th generation. So this is for the full-size iPad, and I happen to be a big fan of keyboard cases for the iPad, but surprising how few of them are very good. Either they don't provide enough protection, the keyboards don't work very well, or they're just too bulky and heavy, and pretty much defeat the purpose of carrying on an iPad, which is a very lightweight, portable computer. So once you start adding bulky keyboard cases, they pretty much turn into heavier laptops. So I think Belkin has hit all the right notes with this keyboard case. They've been able to maintain a very thin, lightweight design while providing full 360 degree protection for the iPad. And they give you a very nice, comfortable keyboard that feels pretty much like a full-size keyboard. Uh, and we're going to take a look at that once we get it out of its box. Now this retails for $99.99 in this black version, but you can get the silver version with a white keyboard for $129.99. So if you have a white iPad, you might want to spring for the silver version just to match it up with the white finish on your iPad. Now as you can see you can also fold the keyboard back or flat uh, in order to use it in tablet mode. Uh, and it's pretty lightweight, so you can actually do this fairly comfortably. Now the packaging for the Belkin case is pretty slick. We even have these magnets here uh, to hold this flap down. And inside you'll find some of the highlighted features, including the sound flow design. Again, it's a uh, design uh, built into the case which reflects the audio back toward the user as opposed to the iPad's natural tendency to broadcast it away from the user. It also does a nice job giving you full protection around the speaker grill. Uh, a lot of cases leave that space free for obvious reasons, so it's nice to get full protection there. We also have true type keys. This is Belkin's keyboard technology, which kind of gives you the experience of using a laptop keyboard on a thinner design. So they paid a lot of attention to the keyboard travel and push force in order to make that work. Uh, we also have this smart sensing technology. Again, this uh, detects the position of the iPad, so it knows whether you're in keyboard mode or not, turns it on and off. We also have the magnetic sleep wake functionality built into this uh, keyboard. And we also have this precision, posi precision positioning system, which is basically these magnets that allow you to align the iPad in three different uh, positions. And we'll demonstrate that once we connect it up. So let's go ahead and crack into this and take a look at the packaging. So we have a little tab here to slide the keyboard out. So here is our case. And we'll take a quick look at the accessories before we get to it. So we have our micro USB charging cable, and that's about it. So let's go ahead and get to the case. So inside the case, you can see we actually have this little thumb port here to open it up. So you can see our black glossy piano black finish. Uh, inside the case, we'll find a little insert here. So let's just pop that out. Inside, we'll find some instructions on how to charge it, how to use it, and we'll demonstrate that in this video. So let's get to the keyboard. All right, so before we put the iPad in the case, let's just take a close look around the case. So as you can see, we have this open frame design, which uh, allows the uh, case to stay fairly thin. So the back of the case provides the hinge you need in order to position it. Now, as you can see, the material here is a soft, velvety material, very nice feeling material, uh, which provides protection to the iPad because this section of the iPad or the section of the case is moving and rubbing against the iPad just a little bit. It's nice to have the softer material to prevent any damage or scratching. Now the frame itself is a hard textured plastic which is pretty rigid so it doesn't move at all. Uh, you still have plenty of room for all of your cutouts and uh, you can see we have that little cavity here for the speaker so this gives enough room for the speaker to operate and broadcast toward the side. You can see the cutouts for the um, uh, lightning connector or the standard 30 pin dock for the iPad 2 and 3rd generation. And you can see we also have a magnet here which interacts with the keyboard and locks it into place. And if you look at the side you'll see a little LED light light up when it goes into position. That's just indicating that the keyboard is activating and uh, ready to pair to your iPad. All right, so let's go ahead and install the iPad. And the best way to do that is to install the button side in first, sort of slide it underneath the edge here and snap it into place. And it's very simple. Now with the iPad installed, we can take a close look around the design. So the first thing that jumps out here is this nice aluminum anodized finish, very rigid aircraft style aluminum, which is very lightweight, but provides a lot of strength. And you can see just how thin that portion of the case is. This is the keyboard side of the case. Very, very thin, much thinner than the iPad itself. You can see the iPad is now wrapped in plastic, which provides a lot of protection all around. So you can see plenty of protection. Nothing is left uncovered besides the things you need uncovered, including your sleep-wake button, your camera cutout, 
as well as your sleep wake, I'm not sleep wake, your volume rocker, and your rotation or mute switch. You also have a count for your microphone and headphone jack. Again, plenty of room for everything. Uh, everything is really nicely reinforced along the edge for rigidity. You also have that sound channel here uh, for broadcasting audio toward the user here. So you can see, again, provides plenty of protection around the speaker grill. Now we also have our thumb port, very similar to a laptop, so it's very easy to open up. A lot of keyboard cases fail to make that design consideration. Now along the edge, you'll find your micro USB port for charging, as well as a little LED indicator, which acts as your pairing status light, as well as your charging status light. Now we have three magnetic slots here, which interact with a magnet at the edge of the case. We also have these uh, bumpers here at uh, each corner of the case, so it prevents the glass from constantly contacting the case, uh, so you don't have to worry about scratching your iPad. So again, these are magnetic, so it kind of nicely slots into them. So there you go. You can actually see that it wakes up the pairing process here. So you can see we have our pairing light. Uh, again, that's the way the uh, keyboard case knows it's in the keyboard position. So you have three positions here. You can find which one fits you best. So you have a nice keyboard angle here. This is the best position if you want to use this in your lap because it is the more stable position. So you can see it's very, very stable. It's also pretty strong. The magnetics really hold onto the edge of the iPad. All right, so the first thing I need to do is set up Bluetooth pairing. So I've gone to my Bluetooth settings panel under settings. And right now it doesn't see my keyboard. It sees some other devices. Uh, so in order to activate the pairing process, if it doesn't automatically see it, all you have to do is hold the function button on the left here and hold the pairing button up toward the right. That will activate pairing. I see Belkin Ultimate Keyboard. Just tap on that. And that's all there is to it, so I'm ready to start using my keyboard. In fact, I can hit the home button to take me back to the home screen. Now, once you've paired the keyboard to the iPad, you can easily disconnect it just by removing it from the magnetic position. So, for example, if I want to use this in the standard tablet configuration, all I have to do is fold it flat. The keyboard knows that it's disconnected from the keyboard position. And if you look in the upper right corner, you'll see the Bluetooth icon go gray, indicating that it's no longer connected to the iPad. It may take um, a few seconds before it registers, but it otherwise works pretty quickly. So in this position, you can see we have the back panel here and the case and the keyboard is folded underneath it. And it's pretty comfortable. It is heavier. Uh, but it does work pretty well, certainly better than most keyboard cases, which don't work pretty, don't work very well in this position. Now I'm just going to go to the Notes app to show you how this works. So if I want to type a note, you can see I have my virtual keyboard activated. But if I put it in position, there you go. It connects to the keyboard, and the key virtual keyboard goes away, and I can start typing. So it works pretty well, very comfortable keyboard. Uh, it's very familiar if you're used to a uh, standard uh, Apple keyboard or like a MacBook Air keyboard. It's kind of a shallower keyboard. It feels a little more cramped, obviously. For me, the biggest issue is a smaller delete button, uh, which I have to get used to. But otherwise, the keyboard actually feels pretty comfortable. You do have to get used to the uh, tighter position. But once you do, it uh, works very familiar. So it's a very familiar keyboard. Now, like a lot of iPad keyboard cases, they've added some unique features for the iPad, including the Home button up here on the left. So if you just tap the Home button, it takes you to the home screen. Don't mind my notifications there. You also have a Search button here. Now, you can see these buttons have multiple functionality. In order to use them, you have to use this function button in order to use those functions. So for example, if I want to search, I have to hit the fun function button and hit the search button. So it takes me to my search screen. If I tap the home button, it takes me back to home. Now, you can also double tap the home button to launch the launcher. Uh, you can also tap and hold the home button to bring up Siri. Now, you also have a Siri button right here, which does the same thing. Now the other function control here is the virtual keyboard. So if you want to use the virtual keyboard instead of the physical keyboard, again, just hold the function button. We'll have to get into typing mode here. Hit the function button and you can see it brings up our virtual keyboard. So we can use either the virtual keyboard on the screen or the physical keyboard, depending on what you prefer. You also have your cut, copy, and paste functionality and your media control. So reverse, play, pause, forward, as well as your audio control. So you can mute, you can volume up, volume down. You also have your pairing mode, which I demonstrated earlier, and you have your delete key. So very familiar. You also down here have some uh, controls here you, uh, similar to an Apple keyboard, such as Option and Command. Now you also have the At button here, and you have this URL button. Up here you have the Caps Lock button, which incidentally doesn't have an LED indicator.
And I have to really applaud Belkin for the design of its hinge, in particular in terms of how it manages the top heavy nature of this design. The iPad is obviously much heavier than the keyboard. Usually it's the opposite uh, when you're dealing with a laptop. The uh, top is the lightest part. So that tends to offer instability. But in the case with the Belkin keyboard case, it's actually very stable thanks to the design of this hinge, which does a very good job sort of balancing the weight of the iPad. And the magnets themselves are very strong. I mean, they're not horribly strong. You can even lift up the case uh, with the iPad connected and it doesn't fall apart too easily. It does let go, but it provides plenty of protection or plenty of stability uh, for your tabletop or for your laptop. So I can use this on my lap very comfortably and you can see that the hinge itself has a nice leveraging point which extends the back of the case to provide extra, extra leverage against the weight of the iPad. Now the keyboard position is also great for movie watching and with this uh, audio design enhancement here for broadcasting audio toward the user, you get improved audio. So let's go ahead and demonstrate that. Slowly the days turn sour and the watchful nights closed in. So the audio definitely sounds louder, although I wouldn't say the audio sounds better. Unfortunately, when you change the audio dynamics of the speaker, you change the way Apple intended for the audio to sound. So with the audio broadcasting toward the back of the iPad, it sounded more fuller or sounded more open and didn't sound like it's coming from one side of the iPad. It sounded like it was coming from around the iPad. So when you change the audio from this into this sort of concentrate the audio into this direction it does sound like the audio is coming out of one spot it doesn't sound as wide uh, so that's something to consider it does sound definitely much louder the iPad definitely suffers from too quiet audio and ideally they'd have two speakers like this to make it work better hopefully we'll see that in the future but if you want louder audio this case definitely pulls it off for you and overall, this is definitely my favorite keyboard case yet for the iPad. Now, like I said, I really like keyboard cases because for me, the iPad has turned into sort of a laptop replacement. I prefer to travel with my iPad versus a laptop, at least if I don't need heavier duty functionality like uh, video editing, uh, because the iPad is lighter weight, has better battery life, and has cellular connectivity. So I have connections no matter where I am. But I prefer a keyboard for typing. I uh, definitely don't prefer the uh, on-screen keyboard for a lot of heavy-duty typing such as writing emails or writing documents or note-taking and that sort of thing uh, So for me this combination of a nice lightweight high-quality keyboard uh, with the iPad is an unbeatable uh, Combination and I'm always glad to find new and improved keyboard designs to uh, make that experience even better with the iPad now the hundred dollars I think this is actually a very good value so you get a nice high quality folio style case very nice materials very nice construction they've done a very good job with the entire design there are no faults in this case at all I'm pretty happy with it very thin and lightweight relative to most keyboard cases certainly does add some bulk but that's understandable certainly better than carrying around a separate keyboard like you would with an Apple keyboard so if you look at the Apple keyboard, you can see it is wider, more widely spaced, but this keyboard still feels very comfortable uh, for that more compact design. Uh, so if you're interested in a keyboard case, I definitely think this is the one to get. Uh, for me, this is my favorite so far and the one I will be using. And like I said, I really like having the keyboard case with my iPad and one that's lighter weight and uh, thinner definitely makes this a more usable product for me, even further enhances the usability of the iPad uh, as a laptop replacement. So that's going to do for me guys in this video. If you want to know more about the Belkin case, I will leave a link in the description below. So again, this has been the Belkin Ultimate Keyboard Case for the iPad 2nd, 3rd, and 4th generation. So I'll see you again in the next video.